Hello everybody, this is B-U-Z-Z -Z Buzz here with another Clash Royale replay. Now this replay has over 45,000 views. Means it's one of the most popular replays on TV Royale. You guys know me, I only bring you the best. Now, I will introduce our players, but before I do that, go ahead, scroll down below, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment to grow the class royale community because i don't know about you guys but i've been hearing a lot of people saying that class royale is a dying game i do not agree with that it's one of the most popular mobile games in the world right now but anyway now introducing our two players starting with the bottom blue we have lemon tree 68 and in the top red we have 10 or 1 0 or 1 0. <laughs> Both of these players are top level clashers who are guaranteed to give us an exciting replay. Now, Lemon Tree is using the Expo deck as traditional at this point, and he's still rocking it. He is a top five clasher in the entire world, so he is no joke. His ability to use the expo deck is matched by pretty much nobody so we are watching one of the best expo players in the world right now defending his expo against a bandit ghost and magic archer attack using nothing but three elixir what a play for elixir will he spend more no deciding to eat that l lemon tree does not want to spend too much elixir defending against that now one o or 10. I'm gonna call him 10. 10 is using a Pekka Poison deck. Very effective against Lemon Tree's deck. Now a lot of people... I've been learning a lot about this game as I cast things like the meta, things like names of decks. Like for example, a gentleman in the Facebook chat named Mark told me that I was using a Prince Log Bait deck at one point which I had no idea that I was using and that that deck is apparently a very slow deck but I was using it very aggressively so another expo coming on the left side here it's gonna try and do as much damage to this P.E.K.K.A as it can the lemon tree is gonna follow up with some defense here putting the Tesla really far from that expo very slick right there because he's anticipating this attack he does not hit the Electro Wizard with that fireball Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering overtime. Anything could happen. And the next tower that goes down is GG. The Battle Ram trying so hard to connect, and it does. 10 throwing a bandit on the left side to do some more distraction, no damage. Uh, Expo on the right side. I don't know about that move, but he will defend it. Lemon Tree trying to do what he does best right now, which is penetrate with great might and great honor. Trying to get an electric curve right now. A ghost coming down the lane on the left side. It will be defended against. No, it won't. The lane is... Okay, I was going to say, there was nothing there to defend against that royal ghost. As the royal ghost, he was not interested in that Tesla tower. Deciding he does not want to be zapped, preferring to go for the arrows. He is a ghost after all, so perhaps electricity hurts him and his electoplasm or whatever he's made out of. Maybe it hurts him more than arrows do, as arrows probably go through a ghost. That would be an interesting mechanic. But we already have an invisibility mechanic in this game. I'm telling you guys, this game has everything. It's so cool. It has buildings. It has cards that spawn other cards like bats. You know, the, the Night Witch, the Witch. You know, it's got building targeting. It's got buildings. It's got everything. It's got everything. It's got fire, electricity, ice. I, I guess it doesn't have water. But, I mean, why have water when you could have ice? Ice is much more effective than water. The Expo locking on to the P.E.K.K.A. Lemon Tree trying his best right now. He is on the back foot. But the thing about the Expo deck is it only takes one mistake. And that Expo will spell disaster. Now, we do have a huge attack on the left side here. Lemon Tree will absorb that with his Ice Golem, bringing them into the right side. He is using his Expo very effectively right now, kind of defensively and offensively. Very interesting, as he's been countering left side pushes by putting the Expo on the right side. 
But uh, at this point, 10 knows that this game is his. And that, my friends, is a GG. Wow, what a play there by 10 to really keep himself in this game. Now, this is going to be a little bit different, guys. I'm going to be casting the next replay immediately. Welcome back, guys. This is game two. I'm using a different way of recording right now, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and start this game. Now, this replay has over 41,000 views, making it the second most popular on TV Royale. So we're going to be going through the best three on TV Royale. That way, I don't have to split up the videos and make it, you know, a little bit weird like that. The only problem is that sometimes YouTube does not let me upload a video. I don't want to get into it, but that is a problem. I'm trying to figure it out. So hopefully I'm able to upload all three of these games right now. But all of that aside, we have to introduce our two players Starting with the bottom blue, we have, I don't know how to pronounce that, but in the top red, <laughs> we have SK More 10. Another 10 for red, as uh, his name is More 10. The other player was named 10, as Thunder coming down on top of the defense of that golem, rather the backing, the backup for that golem, gets electrocuted, SK Mortem, Deciding he will not have any of that. The golem does get in there. He does have a baby dragon behind him. The baby dragon has been nerfed. So he does have less HP. Probably would have been able to get another shot off on the tower. But not so. This elixir golem going to do his best right now. The executioner gets tornadoed right in there. And he's out of there. The log coming down. Now this Hercules is going to do what he can on his own right now. But I don't think it's going to be enough. This tower is really dangerous right now. A tornado coming down for our blue player. I don't know if that was the best choice. But we will see as the game progresses. Another golem coming down in the back here. SK Morton deciding to make something happen on the left side. Knowing his opponent has very little elixir. Looks like I am using a lot of data right now to cast these replays for you guys. Another Exy on defense right now, but that tower is toast. SK Martin, phenomenal play there as we enter the one minute mark. Double Elixir, guys. Anything can happen. That right side tower will go down. We might have a base race. Another Golem on the left side. So much pressure coming down from our blue player, SK Martin is trying to do what he does best right now which is defend because he's got a tornado ice wizard baby dragon deck which i, I don't know if you guys know but it's amazing for defense because you just tornado everything together slow them down and aoe them with the baby dragon ice wizard a tornado coming down from sk morton trying to defend here i don't think it's going to be enough he blue player has lost his right tower now sk morton wants to slow down this damage on the left side but he will not that rocket gonna guarantee that this game enters overtime we are in overtime ladies and gentlemen the next tower that goes down is it sk morten he has a huge attack right now he's doing a lot of pressure blue player trying to stabilize right now he does have a tornado to deal with throws down his own tornado his exit is sniped right now as his offense will begin to build now he does get four extra elixir from that Elex elixir golem this is going to be really good as he could put his golem on the offense let's see what our blue player decides to do deciding to stack up his his uh, backup units for the golem first by putting the baby d and the night witch in the back there very wise deciding to go on the left side as there is a night witch on the right side the thunder does come down on the right side on just the night witch and the baby d the baby d is still alive though the exe is also alive and well right now he's gonna kill that baby d in two shots oh my goodness that is outrageous somebody stop this man he is on a rampage right now he's gonna do so much damage to that tower tornado coming down to slow down as much damage as possible but it's not enough i think that's it for blue player he's gonna have the damage he needs Yes, and that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a GG. <laughs> SK Martin unable to defend himself against these crazy build-up beatdowns by our blue player using a golem to tank it out. What a play. We are into game three. 
Welcome back guys to game three as you guys know this is the best of TV Royale So these are the top three Replays with the most views on TV Royale Now before I introduce our two players just so you guys know this replay has 45,000 views Matching it with the other replays gonna be exciting now introducing Starting with the bottom blue <laughs> We have best and a in the top red we have joe both of these players are guaranteed to give us an exciting replay best na is rocking a next ball deck he is going in the traditional route while joe deciding to modernize himself he does have the elixir golem night witch baby dragon tornado ice wizard thunder deck which we just saw the other player in the last battle he was using that deck and expo coming down the right side by best he is going to try and do some damage here being countered by the ice wizard let's see how effective this ice wizard is uh it might actually go down and then the tower might lock onto the yes i mean yes yes it will the expo doing quite a bit of damage to that right side gonna make best na feel pretty good about that although he did take a little bit of damage himself Electra Golem being thrown in the back there by Joe. By Jovi. My good sir. He will have a Tesla Tower to compete against, but uh, we'll see if he can deal with that. He does have a Night Witch there to try and give his uh, Electra Golem some more damage options. Tornado coming down. Oh, by our red player, Joe. Joe has officially given best NA four extra elixir. He decides to invest in an expo. He is uh, he's got the military industrial complex. He does want to go and create more weaponry for the war. As his country is at war right now, he is representing Lost Orbit. That is his clan and his country, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Don't really know how that's okay. So we got Tesla on the left side. It's gonna do what it can to this Elixir Golem. Best NA deciding to try and set up an attack on the left side does not work out for him. Maybe it was a distraction as he's got a right side. The expo has locked on before the Elixir Golem can be dropped. That's gonna do a lot of damage here. Best NA is gonna feel real pretty about that. He does have to defend here. The thunder coming down on top of very little for Joe not gonna be too effective here but this attack is he's gonna do a lot of damage with this Alexa Golem but this expo will be dropped here on the offense best and they will not lock on as the Alexa Golem has been rotated to by Joe Joe effectively rotating very quickly showing us the power of Thunder with Alexa Golem now the Thunder does do a lot of damage to that tower bringing it to about a thousand now Joe is in an advantageous position, 500 less HP down on that tower. It is well below 1,000, at, sitting at 461, the top right tower for Joe, sitting at five, 1,500. Oh my goodness, 1,500. 15 damage left on that tower. The log will take it. Ha, that, my friends, is a GG. Wow, that was getting pretty close, but Joe deciding right after his tower getting locked that he will not have any more expo shenanigans and he just went all in and that was it he got the game that was a gg joe keeping his cool best na i don't know about you gotta you gotta be the best you know if, if you're gonna have the name like that you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying <laughs> he is technically the best so let's let's not take that away from him he he is the best top 100 in the world maybe top 500 i haven't actually checked the leaderboards on that but joe certainly a top 100 player he has consistently been on tv royale as well i don't know if he's paying supercell for that because he has consistently showed up on tv royale i'm pretty much casting only joe games for some reason but anyway that's it for today guys thank you for watching let me know if you like this new format 
shout out to another YouTuber who also does gaming and Clash Royale. His name is Runs on Water. He does commentary. He's very entertaining and enjoyable to watch. So be sure to check his YouTube channel out. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next replay.